Hey guys, and welcome to Rust University. So on this channel, I'm going to be posting tutorials or instructional type building slash rating anything videos. So if you guys are interested in that and anything other than actual live raids, make sure to get subbed. I would love it if you guys did that. And yeah, let's get on to the first video. So you guys might be wondering how I pretty much never get raided over on the main Rust Academy channel when I'm doing my raids. Well, today I'm going to reveal my secret or a few secrets that help you to make a safe and secure base. Now this is going to be geared towards modded servers, most of which have a remove function, so slash remove. And what that means is when you type slash remove in chat, you get this little user interface that comes up saying if you click on anything, you can remove it. And then sometimes you get the materials back and sometimes you don't. But it is a main key part that plays into making a secure base, so you need to know that. The second thing that most all of Rust modded servers have is a slash teleport function. This also usually comes with a slash home, which means you can slash create a home and teleport back to it without having to enter through your base through the front doors. So these are two key things that you guys do need to know, especially for this video. So the first base style that I want to cover is a sealed off bunker, which can literally just be a square covered in walls and sealed off as the name suggests. Usually people do make them armored completely, but honestly, kind of gives it away, especially because it has no doors on it that people are living in here storing stuff. They will typically come with a TC and then some boxes in here, maybe a sleeping bag, but then people can set their home here and then just come back TP back into here and be safe. And this thing alone is going to cost 8c4 or 7c4 and a rocket to raid. Plus, if you honeycomb it, you can make it doubly as expensive. So yeah, with those upgrades, with the honeycomb and around it, you've just created a 16c4 base that you can live out of. You will only have room for a few boxes in here though, so you might have to make a few of them. You know, some for AKs, some for components, some for your actual boom. But whenever I see bases like this, I tend to risk it for the biscuit and hit them because they can be absolutely loaded. This is already a type of base that's reserved for the smarter builders on the server, but I'm gonna go even more in depth in this video and show you guys some ideas that will blow your mind. So let's say you see a sealed off square like this in the wild. In my experience, the odds of somebody living in here stashing their loot, especially if it's armored, is like maybe 50-50, maybe even higher than that. Also, if there's not a base nearby that it looks like it's an external TC for, it's most likely going to be a sash. But let's say you're roaming around and you see a triangle. Now on first thought, I probably wouldn't hit this thing because you know, you can't fit boxes. You can't fit that many boxes in it. Especially you can't fit a sleeping bag TC and room for loot. So it's a lot more inconspicuous and it doesn't arouse suspicion that it's going to be hidden loot. However, you might not know. You can fit a campfire and a TC and do a triangle. So people may be setting homes in here and check it out snatching all of their C4 or five of their main loot slots in a campfire. And if they have like five to 10 of these triangles around it, they might be able to fit their entire base contents in it. So you've also got to watch out for these. Most likely it's just going to be some sort of external TC if it's a triangle, but it could be a campfire and have some juice in it. This is like a tryhard version of just the normal square bunkers. This is one of the types of bases that I have used in the past to stay safe through the entire wipe. Now it can become such a pain in the butt to transfer loot between all of the triangles and stuff. And there's really no way to defend. You just gotta hope nobody hits it. But it is pretty effective at hiding loot and keeping yourself safe. Now, I would make this thing stone because if they're suspicious about hitting it, they're gonna hit it anyways if it's armored. Stone is just a little bit less suspicious that it's going to be having anything in there. I wouldn't even think twice about a stone triangle sitting off in the middle of a field, not next to another base. Before we move on to the next base topic, I just had to give a shout out to the old way of stashing stuff under foundations. Now this has since been removed over a year ago, but you used to be able to place a foundation above a stash and then we could come back 
slash remove it and retrieve all the loot but yeah like i said that has been removed from the game which really does suck because it was kind of the only foolproof way to get away from espers Obviously, you can still play stashes way out in the open. <laughs> Remember where you're putting them though. And also don't leave anything that's kind of marking the area next to it. The only real way to find a stash is going to be using a hammer or I guess hacks, but yeah, we're not going to encourage that. But if you go up to a stash that's buried, if you don't find it like that, just looking at it, you can use a hammer and it'll sound like you're hitting an object when you're near it, like that. So you know there's a stash there. But yeah, this method is obviously still effective. Just be careful with decaying on the stash and make sure you're not giving it away. Another way to stay safe with your base. Now this works on vanilla, obviously living in a cave, but it's even more overpowered on modded servers because you could just completely seal off with armored walls. Now what everybody has been doing since the ramps came out is adding a second layer of security so it's twice as expensive. With armored it's going to take 16 c4 to get through each square wall. Just make sure that your foundations are placed low enough so they can't hit the foundation and wipe the ramp as well. It should look something like that. And then let's say they hit the foundation. There's probably going to be walls on either side that helps this wall stay up. So yeah, even if they do take the foundation, they will most likely still have to take this wall unless they're raiding your cave with straight up rockets, which takes a while. And yeah, guarding from counters as you're shooting rockets is really difficult. And C4 is the easiest and quickest way to do it. Other than the ramps, specifically with caves, try to use as many half floors as you can. Put floors on each layer and you can even live out of the way top up here, which is probably the most secure way to do it. Just try to put it somewhere unpredictable, like back corner, back side, maybe even stash some here on the front. As long as it's up and touching the rock, the raiders probably won't guess that. All right, so this next thing can happen with really any type of base build. It's kind of an addition that you can do to anything. But people also seal their loot off, let's say, next to their main loot. So if they're living it in here, they'll seal their loot off over here. Please turn the wall the correct way so it looks like it's normally placed and it's symmetrical or it looks the same as the other walls around it. Because whenever I see a wall placed like that with the hard side, Facing away it shouldn't, it's almost guaranteed to be loot. So when you are stashing your loot next to your main core, maybe put it on the edge of the base instead. But if you have to do it here, at least turn the wall the right way. Might look funky from being inside the stash, but it won't give it away to raiders. And yeah, now it looks normal. All right, so let's say you don't wanna live out of a one by one sealed off triangle or square external TC base. If you guys do want to have a main base with shooting floor customized to however you like, I have to give a shout out to exclamation point I clan, which usually plays on my Rust Academy 5X US no BP server, but they have this thing figured out. So I've raided them a few times. They'll usually build a base with this sort of blueprint now extending like 10 floors up like a skyscraper, but somewhere in between the second and 10th floor of this thing, they'll have a layout like this loot stashed in the triangle as well as a tc in one of the triangles maybe they'll have the tc over here or something just so it's farther from the loot but it's a huge guessing game and you end up having to wipe the entire thing just to see some loot drop spending hundreds upon hundreds of rockets trying to find their loot and it's usually not worth it take it from me i've done it a few times only profited once and lucky i didn't get countered and die so yeah if you guys do need to live out of a main base Build something like this and have your stuff in the center, preferably not on the first floor. Here's another design if you guys want to have a workable actual main base that's not just TPing in and out of. Some clans like the stash somewhere unpredictable, probably on the edge somewhere like here. They'll TP in and out of just the corner edge of their base, literally one wall away from the open world. But if you guys do build this and let's say you make it a two by one, please remember to put a frame here. 
Otherwise, you can easily tell where that hidden loot is because the stability will be lower. The frame helps to mitigate that and make it even more difficult to see where the loot's at. But overall, this is still a pretty effective way to hide your loot on a modded server. So I'm not gonna completely give away all of the secrets in this video, but all I can say if you guys wanna have an idea of how I don't get raided, combine a few of these tactics together and you might be able to guess. But yeah, I hope this helped and I've already given away enough secrets in this video. I am going to be coming at you guys with a few informational videos, maybe some Mythbusters as well. So if you guys do like this sort of content, make sure to get subbed and I'll see you guys in the next video.